It was, that was amazing uh, to be a part of that and, uh, you know, uh, just to see what kind of competitor he is and the work that he puts in on a daily basis, uh, the, the, the amount of stuff that he studies going into a, uh, going into that game and just to see him execute everything that he wanted to do and to see it happen was truly amazing. What was the feeling like in the bullpen with you and the guys out there? Well, you know, obviously when the, the situation comes up, nobody moves. You don't, you don't change anything that you're doing. And then at the end with the two outs, you know, everybody started getting a little Bit, bit, bit antsy about it, and then when the, when he hit the batter, everybody was upset. But then to see him finish it off was pretty special. You have managed at Potomac, you managed at Harrisburg, you managed at at Hagerstown. So a lot of these guys, most of these guys who've come up through the organization of the ball club now, you had at one time or another. Oh yeah, and that's that's the one moment when you're managing in the minor leagues to be able to tell the kid he's going to the big leagues. And now uh, part of the development process, and now being able to be a part of them competing at the highest level in the big leagues. And, and try to accomplish a World Series here. It's, that's, that's why we do it, and uh, it's just been a joy that, that I'm able to have just a little part in it. As you look at some of these guys who've come up and now they're established big league stars, do you think back when you had them saying, if he works on this or works on that, he's going to make it to the big time, or he's got a lot of things to do? Oh, no doubt about it. I mean, that's part of our job and part of my experiences as a player is to, to give them just a small amount of information that, that may get them over the hump. And to watch these guys, uh, how they developed and the stories that a lot of these guys can tell you that we had to do that may seem bad as a coach uh, as far as taking them out of the game early for not covering a base or not backing up bases, not running out pop flies or ground balls to see that how that's how all these guys have matured and become the complete player that makes you feel really good. Your bullpen out there has been at times overworked this season. No question about that. But look at the young arms you have out there for the future. Well it's it's we got a we got a pretty good situation, you know, and unfortunately these guys are young, you know if you look at these guys before they walk out onto the field, they got, we got four pink backpacks. Uh, you know, it's saying that they're they're inexperienced and rookies. And but but the good thing is you look out and uh, you know the skipper's been able to put these guys in situations that down the stretch here may be valuable experience for them. Even though they're young and they got good arms, but they still need to improve. But we got some veteran guys here that are here to help them, and uh, I've, we've seen the improvement. And, and hopefully this uh, this this experience for them will help them get over the hump and help us win a championship. You know, one of those veteran guys you talked about, Casey. J Jansen mentioned to us one night, he's in amongst all these young guys, but he was so impressed with the arms you have out there. He says, give them time. They're going to be terrific. Oh, no doubt about it. You know, most of these guys were starters in the minor leagues and they hadn't pitched late in the ball games. And the guy like Casey Jansen, who's pitched late in the ball games, he's been a starter. He's got some valuable knowledge for these guys. And, and they he does. He's, he's Him and Thornton and Storm, uh, these guys have been great with these young kids. And, and they see the, they see the talent that, could, that, 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 that they have with their arm strength, the all-speed pitch and they got a really good upside and they understand it. You mentioned Storin. Can you talk briefly about Storin, the pressure that's on a closer to come in? I mean, he doesn't come in with the situation's good. Well, I'll tell you, you know, that ninth inning has ruined a lot of great pitchers. Yeah. And uh, to see what he's done, gone through, uh, he's had some really good times and he had some times where, where he's not been the best. But uh, last year he'd come in and had a really good mindset. He went and worked on some things the year before. And he's just a valuable leader. He, he's not scared of any situation. That's what you want from your closer. I know you're a connoisseur on sandwiches. Talk a little bit about that. I gave you one of those peanut butter, mayonnaise, and banana sandwiches, and you devoured it quickly? Oh, no doubt about it. It was good. And, you know, my, my mayonnaise and banana sandwiches, it's, a, it's a, definitely a superstition that I have that's, that's maybe weird. But until you try it, man, it's really good. And, you know, I'm from the South, and, and you know, we turn anything into a sandwich. So, uh, uh, but don't, you know, don't make fun of it. Just try it, and you might like it. I tried it. It's very good. Yeah. Well, good. <laughs> Matt, thank you very much Appreciate for your time.